Aram Vethu here, and welcome to the first episode of DayZ Bit Series, where I will show you small things in DayZ that you may or may not know. Let's get to it! I've killed a zombie. As you can see, when you come to the zombie, you can open up the menu. And I'm pretty sure that you didn't know that you can actually store loot on the dead body of a zombie. I placed the primary weapon on the zombie, and I can also place shoes, vests, shirts, pants. It works with anything you could put on a dead body of another player. Now I'm not 100% sure if this works with the old UI, but it does work with the new UI as you can see on the screen. This is a great way to hide loot from other players, because you cannot see any of this loot on the corpse itself. And I mean, there's nobody that will check the infected for loot, because there's no loot on infected yet. There will be in, at some point in future, plus it's uh, worth mentioning that zombie bodies disappear qu pretty quickly. So if you want to get rid of something from other players, this is one of the best ways to do that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and one more thing. Some of you might know that I'm the creator of Daisy Config Tweak Tool. In case you're wondering what that is, it's what you're looking at right now. It's a tool for editing your configuration files through UI instead of digging manually through files. Every important settings is here and you can just save them and that's basically it. The point is, I'm working on a version 2 of the tool and I'll be streaming the development progress later on Twitch. So if you want to check how this tool was made, stop on by and take a look.